The video you are about to see may contain mystical musical witchcraft, horrifying breakcore rhythms, and even worse, a cursed gizmo you can't let go of. You won't want to miss this episode of Overweight Primate. Um, hey goobers, John here. Uh, lately I have been slowly working myself back into music. I have gotten a little bit bored with learning traditional instruments, however, and have taken a strong interest in synthesizers and modular digital instruments. During one of my quests for synthesizer perfection, I stumbled upon the sickest little thing on Etsy, the Zeptocore. This thing is wonderful. Uh, some could call it a, uh, a true musical masterpiece. And of course, I have to show you guys. I want to go over some of the specs and features of this little thing. Keep in mind that the Zepto Core works well for creating drum and bass loops, and in my opinion, works best for a break core, which is this really crazy rhythmic electronic music that relies on lots of impossibly fast drum beats and piano samples. As I was saying, there are quite a few independently made DIY synth kits. However, there are a few things that set this one apart. One. one. This thing is not technically a synth, but mostly a sequencer, uh, more on the mostly bit later. A lot of other equipment in the DIY market is less about sound and more about sound design, which makes it more portable than some crazy huge Eurorack module. Two, the form factor on the Zepto Core is made to be light and portable, contrasting a lot of the bulkier pads, sequencers, pedals, and etc. and such that I have come across. Not to mention the seamless adaptation of a Raspberry Pi also plays into the low price and, and reduces any kind of footprint that a larger computer might have caused. 3. Um, you're technically able to program anything for the Zepto Core given that it's just a Raspberry Pi with potentiometers and some simple buttons. And while there isn't a ton of ongoing work on the Zepto Core, I hold out hope that at least a few projects will be made for this thing, given that it's only been around for like 6 months. Uh, and not to mention the creator of the Zepto Core, Zach Sh Schals, 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 how do you pronounce it? Anywho, uh, updates this thing every few days with exactly 89 GitHub releases uh, over the course of 191 days. That is an average of an update about every 2.14 days. Um, this guy is a champ. He uploads videos about his progress and the list of issues and updates he's completed is truly bonkers. <laughs> uh, Zach, if you're watching, I love you and I wish I had your work ethic. But what about the workflow, John? <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so... The Zepto Core is a sample machine, a monophonic synth, an effects unit, and technically a drum machine slash sequencer rolled all into one. Uh, the whole board is composed of three potentiometers labeled X, Y, Z, four specific buttons for combos labeled A, B, C, and D, and for the rest of the board there is a 4x4 grid of buttons referred to as 1 through 16. A and B get you to your jump mode, which is pretty much just your sample player and the main mode. You're able to jump from certain parts of your clip to other parts, and it's pretty neat. It absolutely works well for those fast rhythmic songs it's designed for, and it has this neat, like, glitchy uh, drum effect that I really like. Uh, the key combo A and C gets you to your mash mode, which will just modify your current loop with these wacky effects like fuzz on button 3, uh, a repeater on button 8, a tape stop that neatly ends your loops on 16. Uh, last and not really least, but very slightly lesser is, uh, bass mode. This is the monophonic synth bit, and I think it's a little bit lacking. Simply, it's just a bass synth that plays over your current drum beat, controlled by pressing buttons 1 through 16. It works well with headphones, but it's a little bit quiet off the speaker. In my humble opinion, I would love to see some kind of synth controls in the near future. Like some kind of waveformer with the knobs and, and maybe some kind of polyphonic compatibility. I think the simplicity of it is kind of appeasing, uh, but maybe some sort of customization through the web app. Technically, this one isn't a mode, but I still enjoy it regardless. If you quickly put in 565, the core will stop the loop to give you this cool little graphic um, that one-shot mode is enabled. Um, 
This one is pretty simple, but it just acts like a drum machine where you pressing buttons one through 16 will play a little shot of the song. It's neat, but there's not much to it. Besides the fact that I made a little fart machine. <clears throat> to close, I want to give a few words from my friend It Was Aliens. To quote, With this Eptocore, the rhythm of life is whatever you can mash out of it. I very certainly agree. Go check out their channel. They make some pretty neat, like, hands-on synth stuff, content. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was, it was pretty enjoyable to make. I always like talking about music. Um, I would like to talk about music in the future. Um, I might be going to military school, so don't worry if I just stop making videos for like a year. Um, but don't forget to subscribe, smash that like, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment. If you have any ideas or suggestions, you can comment them. Or if you want to be like private and discreet, you can DM me at my Instagram or like, I don't know, find my email. Maybe I'll open a business email if you guys want. Um, anywho, bye guys. Bye guysies. Bye Zs. Okay, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs>